Now for our story. Ben Calvert had always dictated the terms of his relations to his fellow men. But the other day, his secretary, Jesse Ward, had confronted him with her terms to a proposition for which there seemed to be no alternative. Ben had exerted every effort to discover why his daughter, Kit Mead, had left so unexpectedly for California. But his efforts had been fruitless. It was Miss Ward who had supplied him with the information. Information she intended to make public to the town of Wakefield unless Ben bought her silence by marrying her. And Ben had no intention of being forced into a marriage. So this afternoon, when his secretary demanded an answer, he had given her one. It was no. But Ben wouldn't have been so complacent if he had known what Jesse's plans were. Late this afternoon, a car turns off Willow Road, pulls to a stop at the side of Aunt Mary Lane's farmhouse. Jesse Ward gets out, goes across the lawn to the front porch. Hello, Peggy. Is your aunt home? No, she isn't at the moment. I want you to come in. Thank you. When will Aunt Mary be back? Well, I'm afraid I can't tell you exactly. She's in town. Oh, dear. I guess I should have phoned first. But as long as I'm out here, do you mind if I wait, Peggy? Of course not. Let's go in the parlor and sit down, shall we? Thank you. Well, Peggy, it's been a long time since I've seen you. I know. I don't come into town very much these days, Miss Ward. We're pretty busy out here. I've been doing all I can to help. It certainly agrees with you. You're looking awfully well. Oh, thank you. Uh, won't you sit down? Mm-hmm. <sighs> uh, have you seen Bill lately? Bill? Why, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked that. It's none of my business. Only, I wish we could talk frankly to each other. I... I don't believe I understand. No, I don't blame you for your unwillingness to be frank with me, because in your mind, I'm definitely associated with Ben Calvert. Well, yes. I can hardly blame you for that, but there's one thing I want to tell you, Peggy. You can take it for what it's worth. I did my best to persuade Ben not to talk to you as he did the other day. Oh. Oh, I've already forgotten that. Well, I'm glad. Because I personally feel that you and Bill have every right to see each other. But after all, I know to what extent that boy was hoodwinked into marrying Kit. Just a minute, Miss Ward. You're wrong. I'm not seeing Bill Mead. If that's what you've come here to find out, I can assure you. Oh, no, no. That isn't why I'm here. I'm here mainly for personal reasons. I'm going to tell you something quite honestly, Peggy. I've suffered a great deal because of Ben Calvert and... I don't want to see Ben or Kit ruin your life as they have mine. But they're not ruining my life. I wish you wouldn't pretend with me. I have a pretty good idea of how you and Bill feel about each other. I see. Then you know more than I do. Well, to tell you the truth, Peggy, I think I can help you. I believe I have some information that you'd find very interesting. But it's something I can't discuss unless you'll be equally frank with me. By being frank, you mean you want me to talk to you about Bill? Is that it? Well, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. I can't do that. The subject I don't care to discuss with you or with anyone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a few things I have to do. Do you still want to wait for Aunt Mary? Yes. Yes, I'll wait. But after Peggy left the room, Jessie Ward wondered if she should wait. She felt disappointed. Sitting there waiting, Jesse grew more and more uneasy. Ben had said he wouldn't marry her. Of course, she could get the satisfaction of seeing Ben Calvert humbled in the eyes of the town, but if she did that, her chances of marrying Ben would be gone forever. Miss Ward could feel her determination weakening. But then she heard the sound of a truck coming up the driveway, and a few minutes later, Aunt Mary came into the room. Hello, Jesse. Well, how are you, Aunt Mary? Oh, I'm fine. Peggy told me you were here. She said you wanted to see me. Well, yes. Yes, I did. Did Peggy tell you anything about the conversation I had with her? No. Should she have? I'm afraid she thought I was interfering in things that were none of my business. You see, I was asking her some questions about Bill Mead. Oh? It wasn't 
Just out of curiosity, as Peggy might have believed, or for any motive other than a personal one. I'm afraid you'll have to explain a little more fully, Jesse. Why, well, intend to. Aunt Mary, do you know why Kit went to California? Why, no. I didn't think you did. Haven't you wondered about it? Naturally. But evidently, it's something Bill is unable to discuss, so I don't consider it any of my affairs. But it very much concerns you and Peggy. You see, I don't think you should be telling me anything that you've been told in confidence. Oh, I'm not betraying any confidence. Whatever I know, I found out by myself. Kit's going to have a baby. Are you sure? Positive? Well, you look pleased about it. Well, of course. I'm happy for her. Well, how can you be? Don't you know why Kit's had to go into seclusion until the child is born? Don't you know she should never have any children? Oh, yes. Well, it's the truth. It's all part and parcel of how Bill Mead was tricked. But Ben wasn't honest with the boy. Bill didn't find out about Kit's mother. Bill didn't find out about Kit's mother. Bill didn't find out about Kit's mother until after he was married to Kit. Well, for that matter, Kit didn't learn about her background until it was too late. What background? Well, I'll put it like this. The chances that Kit's baby will be normal are very slim. Oh, no. Hmm. So that's why Bill has been unable to say anything. Did Bill tell you this, Jesse? Mm -mm. He doesn't know I know. And how I found out doesn't matter. What a tragic thing. I wish you hadn't told me, Jesse. I can't understand why you did. Well, I've gathered that Bill made his wife a promise not to mention it, but under the circumstances, Aunt Mary, considering what Peggy's gone through because of Kit Calvert, I thought it was only right that she should know. I would have told her myself, only... Well, I thought it would be better if you did it. Tell Peggy that? I should say not. Well, why on earth not tell her? I just told you so that you... Yes. And I consider it something you should never have repeated. Why, those poor children. I can certainly understand Kit and Bill wishing to keep this matter completely to themselves until it's all over. Jesse, does Ben know Kit's having a baby? He didn't until I told him just the other day. I see. I don't understand this, Jesse. You've been a friend of Ben's for years. Look, Aunt Mary, I'll be blunt. You've suffered a lot at Ben's hands. Same as I have, same as nearly everyone in Wakefield has. It's no secret to you that I've been in love with Ben. The whole town knows it. He's imposed on me, dominated me, but I'm free of Ben Calvert now. He set himself up as a powerful little tin god in Wakefield, and it's time he took a tumble. You know Ben's ego. Why, he couldn't stand it if Wakefield knew that his grandchild Jesse, was... Jesse, uh, excuse me for interrupting you, but I think I've heard enough. Ben and I have had opposite theories about life and people, so we haven't been good friends. But you've come to the wrong person, Jesse, if you expect to use me for your purposes, whatever they are. My purpose is to see Ben Calvert get what's been coming to him for years. You and I have no right to sit in judgment of Ben. And, Jesse, I think I understand why you chose me to tell these things, too. It's because you realize that that would hurt and distress Ben more than anything else if you thought I knew about it. But how can you use a tragic situation that exists between two young people... One that isn't of their making. To strike back at Ben for whatever wrong you feel he's done you. I'm very sorry you came here today, Jesse. But you can be assured of one thing. I'm going to forget about this visit of yours. I'm going to forget that you ever told me these things. Jesse Ward got up. And without a word, left the house. She wouldn't admit the truth of Aunt Mary's words. So she sought refuge in anger. But knowing Aunt Mary Lane as she does, Jessie had to admit that she should have hidden her motive more cleverly. And yet as she got into her car, Miss Ward found her anger giving way to a sense of relief. Perhaps everything had happened for the best. Ben needn't know of her visit to Aunt Mary. She still had another chance to get Ben Calvert to agree to her proposition. As she drove out the gate of the Lane farm and turned into Willow Road, someone waved to her. Jessie stopped. It was Sergeant Bill Meade. 